Welcome to Anno Putrin, for where we keep learning and we keep growing, and we are always devoted to building academic excellence in students. In today's video, we are making arithmetic progressions simple and efficient by using your calculator to do the hard work for you. Whether you need to find a specific term or the total sum of a sequence, you will learn how to solve AP questions without stressing over formulas. This method is perfect for exams, assignments, or quick checks. By the end of this video, you'll be solving AP problems accurately, confidently, and in record time. Grab your calculator and let's get started. So our question being given to us today is, the seventh term of an AP is 3 and the third term is negative 3. Find A, the first term, and B, the 24th term, C, the common difference, D, the nth term, if the nth term is 36, and E, sum of the first 40 terms. So, as I said earlier, we are going to learn how to use our scientific calculator to what? Do the hard work for us without really stressing ourselves with formulas and all that. So, I'll urge you to also grab your calculator and you follow along with me. So what we are going to do is that we will press on mode. When you press on mode, a menu pops up. Then we will later press on number three, which is the stats. So now another menu also pops up. So we will choose number two, which is what, where we can actually use uh, it for the arithmetic progression. So we press on number two. Then we are going to what, key in the terms in and all that. So this thing that you can see on your screen the x column is representing the number of terms and the y column is representing the figure the term is giving you you get it so here in the question it says the seventh term of an ap is three so here in the x column you put what seven and in the y what you put three the twelfth term is what negative three here to for x you put twelve y negative three so let's put our figures in we have seventh term and we have two of them. We move to the y column. We have for the seventh term, so it's positive three. And for the twelfth term, it's what? Negative three. So we will not able to key in what? The main thing inside. The next thing is we have to find the first term, 24, common difference, and the other questions and all that. So after we key in our question in what we do is that what we press on ac when you press on ac it does not mean that you've actually cleared it but it is stored on the calculator you get it so you need not to worry about anything and all that so after that what you do is that you press on shift then number one or well, start menu so another menu also pops up that is type data sum variation reg mean max and all that but we are interested in what the reg so we press on number five. And menu also pops up from one to five. So we have A, B, R. We have the H hat and the Y hat. So what we are interested in is what the Y hat. To find what? For our first question, we have to find the terms. The term. So to find the term, you use what? The Y hat. To find the uh, nth term, you use what? The H hat, which is number four. And number five is what the y hat. And to find the common food difference, you use what b, which is number two. So here, to find the first term, you press on what number five. So what you do is that you come to the front side of what the y hat. Then you just what put one there because it's telling to what find the first term. You put one there. You press what equal to. This is the answer it gives you. 10.2. If you want to really get it in a fractional form, all you need to do is press on this SD. When you press on the SD, it gives what? 51 over 5. 51 over 5. Yes, there will maybe if you want it in decimals, you can also just press the SD. It gives you decimals. If you want it in fraction, press the SD, which to get what? 51 over 2. The second question is what? Find the 24th term. You don't need to go and start again. All you just need to do is come here in the front part of this y hat then you clear the one and you put 24 there then you press what equal to 
you have what negative 17.4 yes too if you want it in a fraction just press the sd which will get us negative 87 over 5 negative 87 over 5 then we are done reports the first and second question the third question is asking us to what find the common difference to find the common difference and to do that you just let's just click on this ac so you after cl clicking on the ac you press on shift then number one you press on number five again for reg now we are no more going to press on number five again because you are not finding that number, uh, the first term or this or that. But here you are finding the common difference. To get the common difference is number two, which is B. B for number two. So you press on number two and press equal to. So in this question, we have what? Negative 1.2. If you want it in for our common difference. If you want it in fraction, you just press on the SD, which you get what? Negative 6 over 5. Negative 6 over 5. That is what? Our common difference so we have been able to do what question a b and c now let's move to what question d which is what the nth term if the nth term is what 86 you have to find the nth term if the nth term that we are looking for will give us what 36 so this one all we just into this we to click on our ac press on shift number one number five then this menu comes again. Here too, you are not going to either press on number 5 or number 2. What you will press on is what? Number 4. If you are told to find the nth term, always you press on what? Number 4. If you are told to find the nth term, if the nth term is giving you, let's say, 250, you click on number 4. Always for the nth term, you click on number 4. So here, you press number 4. Then you move to the front side of it. Then they said what the nth term is what 36. So we just press what 36 and you press equal to. So it's giving us what negative 20.5. That is the nth term. If it is what the answer is 36, so what we are getting what negative 20.5 to get it in fraction, we get what we press on the SD, we get negative 41 over 2. Negative 41 over 3. To check whether this is actually correct, whether if we put this uh, negative 20.5, it will actually give us the 36. Let's, let me show you something. All you just need to do is you press the AC. So we press on shift 1, number 5. Then you press on number 5 to check whether what the uh, negative what, um, 41 over 2 came. We actually did what? 36. So let's see. If you press on number 5, then you just come here. Negative. 41 over 3. Let's see whether we are actually going to get 36. What do we get? 36. You get it. So actually, we can actually find what? The nth term. And I told you, to get the nth term, what do you focus on? You focus on what? Number 4. You get it. Good. So we've been able to solve for the first four questions. Now, the second question is that the sum of the first 40 times, the sum of the first 40 times. So what we do is that we'll click on what? AC. You click on AC. So what we do is that if we press to get the sum of the first four times, we will first what? Click on shift and the log button. The log button. We have placed the what? The mouse pointer. We press on it. So what we do is that after we pressing on this, we are going to what bring the alphabet X on our capita. How do we bring our alphabet X on the capita? We press on alpha and the bracket close sign. Then after we doing this, what we do is that we now press on shift, then number one, number five, then number five again. So this shows up. Then we are not yet done. It's just some few button presses. Then we'll be done with this question. So we press on what? We'll bring our comma. Because we are finding the sum of the first 40 terms. And we know sigma means what? Summation. That is why we brought a sigma. You get it? Good. So we'll bring what? A comma there. So com uh, to get the comma, we press on what? Shift. Then the bracket close. Shift and bracket close. Our comma comes. That finding the sum of the first 40 terms. 
That means what? It is from 1 to what? 40. It is from 1 to 40. So to do that, you press on number 1. Then we press, we bring our comma again, sit, then the bracket close. Then we bring what? 40. So it is from what? 1 to 40. Then we close the bracket. We press equal to. Blessing. It's giving us what? Negative 200 and what? 20, uh, negative, sorry, negative 500 and what? 28. You get it. So this is how we actually what? Solve for what? Our arithmetic progression using our scientific calculator. How to actually what? Use your scientific calculator to solve for arithmetic progression. You've been able to what? Find the first term, 24th term, common difference, be finding the nth term and the sum of dots, first 40 terms and all that. So let's move on to the next question, which is we are told to find the uh, sum of the first 10 terms in the arithmetic progression 2, 6, n and 14. 2, 6, 10 and 14. We know that here, the reason why I solve it manually is because teach you some three things. You know all these steps are out long process and all that we know that a formula for the sum of an ap is what x subscript n is equal to what n over 2 then we have our bracket which we have 2 a plus bracket open n minus 1 uh, then d which we know the n is what the terms that are what you are looking for the number of terms that you are looking for our a is the first term and our d what is the common difference so I'm showing you how to do it manually, but I'll also show you how to do it what, on your scientific calculator and all that. So here, um, we know our n is what 10. So we put a 10 over 2. We have our 2 for the first one to be constant. Our first term in this question is what 2. First term is what the figure that is what appearing first is 2. Then we bring our bracket again. n is what 10 minus 1. Common difference is 4. How do we get the 4? It is what the second term minus what the first term, so it is six minus two, which will get us four. The six minus two, which will write what four. Good. When we compute this, you will get what the sum of your first ten terms to be what two hundred. But I want to show you how to use your calculator to what do this one turn. So we press on mode, then number three starts. You choose number two. So we have what. One, two, three, four. That means what this number two is the first term. Number six is what? The second term. Ten is the third term. And fourteen is the what? Fourth term. So here, as I said earlier, X represents what? The terms. And the Y is what? What the term is giving you. So we have one, two, three, and the fourth term. Then move towards the Y column. So the first term is what? 2. Second term is 6. Third term is 10. And the fourth is what? 14. So after we are done inputting this on our calculator, we press on the AC. Then we press on this to get uh, our sum. We know sum. We have to bring the sigma summation and all that. To do that, you press on shift, then the log button. Then from there, we put what X, we bring X, the alphabet X, so alpha and the bracket close sign. Then we are not done. We press on shift. Then number one, number five, and number five again. So this is what we are finding what the tens. So the ten ten, some of the quotes. 10, 10. That's why I brought what the sigma there and all that. So from there, we press on what's our comma. We bring our comma and bring number one. Then we bring comma again. Then 10. Why? Because we are looking for the 10th game, the sum of the first 10, 10. That means from 1 to what's 10. I have swag here to I brought the 1 and all that. Then I close my brackets. I press equal to. It gives, the calculator gave me what? 200 right you can see when we also solved it manual we had what 200 so you can see that what the calculator can simplify things for you and all that when you press when you're using your calculator you press equal to 
and you do not get the correct answer you press the equal button twice you get it press the equal button twice you get your answer and all that so uh this is how far we've been able to what use our scientific calculator to what actually simplify things and just like that arithmetic progressions are no longer a problem with just the right calculator steps you have got everything you need to tackle questions faster and smarter if this video made your uh, life so simple and so better give it a like subscribe to the channel and tap the bell so you never miss another shortcut got a math topic you are struggling with leave it in the comments i'll be glad to help thanks for choosing and not you until next time keep learning keep growing